Hello and welcome to Squarespace Tutorials with Jake Jorgovan. Today I'm going to show you the basics of how to lay out a page on Squarespace, move content around, and uh, just basically kind of how to actually use their layout editor, which is really one of the core features of Squarespace. You know, if you're blogging or creating pages for your site or anything, this is one of the most important things you need to learn. And it's probably one of the biggest areas that my clients struggle with to understand because it's not um, it's not necessarily the most easy thing to figure out on your own. Uh, so what I'm going to do with this video is basically just show you how this layout tool works, move some things around, and just kind of show you that. Uh, so the first thing I'll show you is just as your mouse moves around, you notice you will select uh, this little gray box pops up around whatever it is that you're selecting. Um, so this automatically kind of just shows uh, what it is that you're kind of touching and so for text you'll see that I can click in here and edit the text but if I click uh, here over on the outside of the text I can actually move that text around um, so depending on where you click within everything that uh, makes a very big difference as well uh, the next thing I want to show you is that these little plus icons that show up pretty much all over your site as you're as you're working on the edit you can basically anywhere you want to you can insert something so I have this little section that says why Squarespace is so great um, but what if I want to put a picture right here of the Squarespace logo again for some reason well I can just hit this plus icon and now it's gonna pop up this little option to insert uh, any of these various features that Squarespace has involved uh, for what we're gonna do we wanna just put in an image and I'm going to upload this little image of, oh, actually I don't have it there. So I'm actually just going to not do that for now. But basically you're kind of getting the point of you can just kind of drag and drop and create new blocks wherever you want to. Now one of the biggest problems people have then is moving the content around and getting images to sit where they want them to. So you notice that my uh, site up here, the, the Squarespace logo is sitting right on the top right. Well, what if I want that to sit to the left of the content? Uh, I can basically click this little uh, grabber right here, and I can start to move that around. Uh, and you notice as I move it, this little gray bar um, kind of changes, and that gray bar is showing where this image is going to drop. So if I put the gray bar right here, you're going to notice that it's going to basically put that image between these two, the first and second paragraph. So we drop it, and there are the images between the first and second paragraph. But what if I, that's not really what I want, and instead I want to have it kind of sitting to the left of this text. So I can come over here and put it, put this kind of where the, the gray box shows up. And now if I let go here, you see all this image is sitting to the left of this text right here. But I can also do that same thing uh, with the text, so I don't necessarily have to do that with the image. Uh, maybe I want to move this block of text and put this above the rest of it. Now this block of text sits above the image, and all of this is down here. And you see all this text is now wrapping around this Squarespace image. Um, another thing you can do is you can create columns. So what if uh, I don't want this in any way um, you know, as part of this block, but I want to create a whole new column for this image. What I can do is I can simply go here, and I can scroll to the right, and what you'll see here is uh, this gray bar that appears all the way on the right side. Now this is a little finicky, and you have to kind of try moving things around, but um, basically you can you have the ability to kind of create columns in different ways. So right here if I move it in just the right spot you see the gray bar shows and it's just this little top um, top section right here where the gray bar is so if I let go I've now created two columns right here where this is sitting to the right of the header and the intro uh, paragraph but I also have the ability to create a whole nother column on the website so if I come back over here to the right and I now drop it where this gray bar is all the way up the page. I have actually just created a massive column for the entire site. 
well that's not what I want to do on this you can use that to actually build columns for your site if that's what you're wanting to do uh, so after all that I'm just gonna move this right back here to where it was um, so that is kind of the basics of just how you move things around you can really do that with anything uh, you have this button here maybe we want to put this button to the right of the picture um, then what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll and now we'll see as I hold it right here um, I can see right here I would make if, as the gray bar is full screen I would make a new column for the whole page but if I pull it a little to the left now I'm just going to create a column with this image and then the button so now I have created this image and the button right here or maybe I want the button above my image and in that case I can just scroll up here and this gray bar appears above the image and below the paragraph I drop it here and the button is now above the image uh, so there's just a handful of different tricks and just kind of the basics of how to lay out pages in Squarespace uh, it's a little tricky and you just kinda of have to mess with it but if you have the kind of basic knowledge I think you should be able to figure it out from here uh, or if you have any questions or need any help on the Squarespace platform you can reach out to me at jake-jorgovin.com slash Squarespace.